Hello class! Today I'm going to be teaching you a thing. Ignore the fancy clothes, I, I, I haven't bothered to change out of my church stuff yet. But, I'm gonna teach you a thing. Well, maybe not because I've been doing some things wrong and I know I've been doing them wrong. So I'm just gonna tell you what I've been doing and then you can take that and take it how you will. I've been making a language. And it's a lot of fun. So, first things first. When making a language, you have to, have to, have to, very first, decide what kind of sound you want your language to have. Like, I knew I wanted my language to be very smooth, fluid, graceful sounding. So, I immediately just took out all of the X's and T's and all the harsh sounds gone. No, uh-uh. So you gotta do that. Like what type of sound do you want to be prevalent in your language? What type of sounds don't you want? That sort of thing. And then once you've done that, then you can start coming up with words. Yeah, that's not quite as easy as it sounds. Now, you are allowed to cheat. You are allowed to steal words, modify already existing words, or if you really want to, you can just pick a couple letters, mash them together, and say, ta-da, word! Like, for example, uh, give me just a second, and I will pull up... The document that I have that's got all my words in it. I have about 30 now. So, for example, I used Resovai for as a word for love between friends. That was just one that I kind of mashed together and that's a word in my language now. But then I'm also considering stealing the word veni from, from Latin. It's a Latin word that means to come. And I'm considering using it, that one as a word. But then I, don't, I have to figure out a meaning for it. Yay. Oh, one piece of advice that I should have said right at the very beginning. Be aware that this is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Do you have any idea how many words there are in the English language? It's nuts. And you have to deal with tenses. You have to deal with, with pluralization. You have to deal with possessives. You have to make all the rules. You have to come up with the words, make the rules. You, have, you can't have two words that sound too similar, because then it's just all confusing. It's a lot of work. But it's also a lot of fun, so just keep both of those things in mind. Okay, so, next, so, make words, I'm, I'm still in that stage, and then you're gonna have to create the alphabet. And that's all, I'm kinda stuck on that step, because you can make your own symbols, you could steal you could steal letters from the typical alphabet. You could use symbols that are kind of like Japanese. You could use um, the, you could use a system of dots if you wanted to. You could do anything, and then you're gonna have to decide: Do you want to do it like the Japanese do it, or the, the Jap Asian people do it, where you have one symbol that means a word. Or do you want to do it phonetically with one one symbol being one sound? You can do it. There are so many options and it's so much choice and decision making. Yay. And then what you have to do is just keep at it. And don't when making words, don't make them like five bajillion syllables long. Make them relatively easy to say. 
I, I told you about resovai earlier. That's one of my longest single words. That's another thing. How are you going to deal with, com with combined nouns? Are you going to do those at all? What are you going to do? It's, it's, yeah, there's so much decision making. But yeah. You can also do... You can do combination words. Um, like the name for my language, Sinan Sve. That is a combo word that literally means expression of soul. I was very, very proud of that. So... Yeah, you have to come up with word, you have to come up with a sound first for your language, then you have to come up with words, and you have to make a, a not an alphabet, and then practice. Just, it, it's like learning any foreign language. You just gotta practice and practice and practice and practice until you can speak fluently in your own language, and then once you've got lots of words all done, you can make your own little dictionary type thing and give it to all your friends and talk in secret code. Except it's not a secret code because it's an actual language now. But nobody else will know what you're saying and it's great. So, yeah, that's just a fun little side project that I've been working on that I figured I could share with you guys. So, yeah, see you guys later. Bye!